Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 10 years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 113 verses 1 to 9. Here's God's word. Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. That the Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the, God, who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks far down on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. Psalm 113, 1 to 9. And here's my blog. Why praise God forever? There is only one true God, the Lord Almighty Father. He made heaven and earth and all things for his purpose. He made the sun and the moon, the day and the night. It is only fitting to praise him at sunrise and at moonlight. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high? He will always be there for his people when they need him. The Lord is the only one who can speak life to his creation. He is also the only one who can bring destruction. Give him all your blessings, for he is steadfast in his love. He is patient and generous to forgive our misdeeds and wrongs. He is in control of all things, and whatever he pleases, he does. When he closes a door for you, no one else can open it. He is generous to give and never gives up on his children. Reflection why is praising God very important in a believer's life? And share some reasons why you need to give God glory. When you are a believer, you are a servant of God. When you are a servant, you serve your master. And one of the ways you serve your master is to give him praise and bless him. Why is it important to do that? Because then we will stay uh, humble and focused on our position as a servant and his position as the master. So it is the only antidote to anything that could go wrong in your life to praise the Lord. In uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul has always said to praise the Lord whether you are in bounty or whether you are lacking in something. Praising the Lord will change your perspective. So even if you're in the midst of uh, grief, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of trials and suffering, and you start praising God, there is no other way to go but have peace because when if you know your God and you praise him despite your circumstances you are going to learn to grow your faith and when you grow your faith your endurance will grow and when your endurance grows you will be complete in contentment needing nothing that's what uh, the book of James talks about now some of the reasons I'd like to share to you why I need to give God the glory is because of the circumstances, so many adversities and sufferings and trials has been in my life since I was born and I'm still standing up right now in front of you declaring his glory. Uh, 62 years later, I'll be 63 this August, and you will not imagine how I went through those things, how those horrif 
horrifying things and horrible things if you do not know the Lord because you will probably not believe that I am this person now and I was very different when I was young. So, and yet, God was faithful to walk me through all these trials even though there was no physical person who would lead me to um, follow the fat path that he wants me to follow. I've always known that the Holy Spirit was with me since I was a young child of seven. And I've always had this relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ since I was seven. I had no friend, nobody to talk to, uh, although I had a sibling, I'm the eldest in the family and um, uh, we have extended family living with us and um, I, I'm not blaming them but they probably didn't know how to live a life of faith because they didn't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ themselves. So what I can say is that there's so many reasons why I would continually praise the Lord. He has given me refuge. He has given me protection. He has given me wisdom. He has given me um, all my needs. He has given me people to guide me. He has given me people to challenge my personality. And He has given me circumstances where I was abused. And I thank Him for that because Without those experiences, I would not have the strength that I have right now, and I would not have the compassion and, uh, and the understanding and the patience that I have right now. So I will praise my God every day as much as I can, because without Him, I will not be where I am right now. And I'm only living for my Lord and Savior, and my purpose is to bring His kingdom for everyone to see that he is the only God and no one is like him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.